this is Lauren Fritch with the new not Ditch the Diet program and the new name for the program is going to be called Why Diet? Simple, right? Why diet? Why not eat good food, love your body, and live a happy, healthy life? That's the whole point. That's why we're doing this. So that's the tentative new program. Hopefully we won't run into any other trademark naming issues. Incidentally, it was pretty tough once I was notified about the Ditch the Diet overlap with another program and, and person's business out there to find something that someone else hasn't already used around dieting. And what that means is that, and you guys probably already know this, dieting is a major multi-billion dollar industry, okay? Why? Because diets don't work. People just keep going on them and then failing and then doing it again. I think, I don't know that I've shared this statistic with you guys, but over 83% of people who lose weight on a diet gain back the same amount of weight or more a year later. Pretty alarming, right? But it makes for a really great industry to be on in if you're trying to make money off of people. And that's really what our dieting industry is all about. They know that a lot of things don't work and they keep selling them because it makes money. This is not that. This program, Why Diet, is about equipping you guys with the tools and the knowledge to interact with your food and your body in a different way so that it's not so much about following a program because really are you going to follow a program and a little printout every day for the rest of your life? I think not unless you're super OCD. No. It's about being really intuitive, getting clear, listening to what you actually need and want and giving your body that. So it might be scary. I hope part of it's fun. And, it, you know, it's going to be really enlightening. It's probably going to open you up to some, some new stuff. Also, my tip for today, since we are doing one of those, is sleep. If you're not sleeping enough, you're not going to be a healthy weight. Bottom line, really, really, really make an effort to get into bed before 10 o'clock. Or not before 10 o'clock, but right at 10 o'clock. The hours between 10 and midnight are your most powerful sleep times. So I do whatever it takes at, at least a couple nights a week to make sure that I get in bed so I'm going to bed right around that 10 o'clock hour. Um, you can probably hear my voice. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I have morning voice. It's because I haven't been sleeping enough lately. I haven't been getting you know, a full... For me, I like between 7 and 8 hours. I don't need it every day, but that's usually what my body likes. And I've been getting like 5, 6 regularly for the past several weeks and that just doesn't cut it for me. Moreover, I've been going to bed at like 11.30 or midnight, which means I'm missing the like quality sleep time hours. So, you know, my goal for the next couple couple days is really to get into bed at 10, get those awesome hours of sleep between 10 and midnight and hopefully recharge my body a little bit so I don't sound like morning voice all the time, all day long. Anyway, make sure you're sleeping, get the rest that your body needs that's going to help you repair, burn fat, metabolize everything better, get all those, you know, catalytic, catalytic um, processes going on in your body that, that help you stay healthy. Because we are, we're, we're basically one big chemical reaction. And other than that, stay posted. We're going to be changing a lot of the copy and titles and websites to our new name. Why diet? So easy. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Peace.